Friends and family, I would like you to check out blackcommunityspeak.com. Now, blackcommunityspeak.com is a forum based website. So, something that's very simple where you can get on, you can get off, you know, get involved with a lot of topics. Now, Black Community Speaks is a place that's for black men and women to talk about issues that's affecting the entire community. So, on blackcommunityspeak.com, they talk about topics in the range of news, uh, what's going on in society, relationships, technology, business, food and recipes, gaming, health and fitness, you know, music and many, many more. Um, on Black Community Speak, it's a place where you can be safe to say what you want to say without the fear of big tech censorship. So make sure you head on over to blackcommunityspeak.com and sign up today. Hello, everyone. It's me, Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So today on Twitter, Roland Martin decided to tweet the following in regards to the insurrection that took place on January 6, 2021. He said, if you voted for Donald Trump in 2020, you supported a known liar. You backed the thug. You backed the sore loser. You backed a power hungry idiot who had no issue destroying America. All of you who voted for him must accept the role you played in January 6th. Okay, I guess. But I want to ask Roland this. If they accept responsibility for helping Donald Trump do that because they voted for him, I guess, in 2020, will you accept the role you played in getting Joe Biden elected? I think it's a fair question because just like you called those people to the carpet for getting an idiot, you know, or voting for an idiot and all the other things you said about Trump, you also knew that Joe Biden was unapologetic behind saying that Strom Thurmond and James O. Eastland, segregationists, well-known segregationists, he said those were my mentors and all this other stuff. And you also knew that he said that he was the author of every major and minor crime bill since 1976. Then he went on in 1994 and pushed forward that 1994 crime bill that Bill Clinton signed into law. They actually called that bill Biden's law or Biden's bill. Well, we know that bill disproportionately imprisoned black people. We know that that bill set forth mandatory minimums that states could set in regards to different crimes. We also know that that bill in, uh, invented, I guess if you will, or included 60 more crimes that could be held under the three strikes law and things like that. And so are you willing to take responsibility for what Joe Biden helped do to the black community, getting rid of and ruining generations of black people? Because you're talking about the stuff that Trump did and said, but I ain't heard you say a peep about the role that you played in helping deliver us Joe Biden. So I think it's a fair question. Roland, what say you? And for you guys watching, do y'all think that's a fair question? Or do you think that Roland Martin should accept the role and the responsibility that he played in doing what he's doing to us right now? Joe Biden sitting in that White House thumbing his nose at black people doing nothing specifically for black people, even though it was black people that got him in the White House when he took himself to South Carolina and James Clyburn, you know, did all that he had to do to get black people to get him in the White House. So I think Roland should have to answer for what he did. How dare him sit up on Twitter and look down on everybody because they exercised their American right to vote for who the hell they wanted to vote for, but he ain't taking no responsibility for what he did. And let me ask y'all this before I get out of here. How do you like the job Joe Biden is doing that Roland Martin helped get in there? How y'all like that job? Y'all tell me. So anyway, y'all, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. Hey, family. On November 20th through December 1st, 2022, we will have the all-inclusive Kenya trip. Now, a lot of times people have said, hey, Phil, when's the next trip we'd like to go? I want to see Africa for myself, but well, this is the time to go. Everything will be taken care of. All the excursions are paid. You can do monthly payments. You know, they'll have a safari and a six city tour. You will see 
Charlie Island, which is something that we did not see last time on the tour. This tour will be 12 days instead of seven days. So make sure to secure your place on the trip by going to www.wbsvs.com, make your deposit, and then you can start making your payments and we'll see you in Kenya. <laughs>